From great churning mills, which made flywheels for large ships, to iconic steam hammers which could deliver 125 tons of force. It becomes quickly evident that machines of power have been around for some time, but the emergence of new composites and fabrication techniques have evolved industrial machines into a harmony of precision and innovation. So let's take a look at some of the largest industrial machines ever made. At number 7, the REW3000. The biggest rain rolling machine can build forms up to 16 meters in diameter and 3 meters in height. It works by utilizing a radial axial rain rolling process, and this modifies the wall thickness and height at the same time. As a result, the rain diameter increases due to the constant change of the workpiece. The machine can handle up to 200 tons, and it's equipped with the latest sensory technology. Some of the biggest rains will be used for lower flanges of wind turbines, and lining and pressure vessels in nuclear reactors, so it's a pretty useful tool. At number 6, the HSM Modal. The largest 5-axis CNC is a flexible machine for various applications. It can pretty much do everything, including milling, sawing, drilling, grinding, and even polishing. And it combines speed with accuracy, with a precision of roughly 0.01 millimeters. The machine can theoretically travel up to 150 meters in one direction, so it can basically build your next house. The HSM is basically a gantry system and the frame is built out of carbon fiber and aluminum, making it to be very unique and one of the largest industrial machines of all time. We get to number 5 and it's the M2000. The strongest, 6-axis robotic arm in the world can literally pick up a car. It has a capacity of 2.3 tons and a 4.7 meter reach, so it proves to be quite useful in the automotive and metal industry. The whole arm is operated by a controller that has built-in software for guiding, tracking, airproofing, and even quality control. And it also has a built-in safety function which ensures that the arm travels in one defined path so it cannot destroy everything around itself, and that might be a good thing. Now, the 2000 is pretty expensive, and it tops over $400,000, but the smaller variants are quite a bit less. At number 4, the 3DI Regal. Well, it was only a matter of time until someone made a 3D printer, which is actually bigger than your house. One of the largest 3D printers in the world utilizes wood-filled plastics, so that it can print an object 100 by 22 feet high. So, you'll also need a crane to move the finished object, as it can print 500 pounds per hour. Now, I covered this thing before, and it's already made shelters, boats, and things like that, and it's not building spaceships just yet. But having said that, I wouldn't be too surprised if printers get larger, along with multi-material capability. At number 3, the HF-10 CNC Bridge. While Rich Kohlberg developed some of the largest precision-based machine tools in the world, they built multiple vertical milling machines which use a variety of hydrostatic RAM setups. The power tech variant can be made into a moving table or gantry design, and it has a maximum length of 164 feet, so it can handle very large things. Some of the world's largest components are manufactured from this machine, including the ITER fusion reactor core, massive marine engines, and even steam turbines. Their new Taurus machine is also quite impressive, with an automatic workplace changer capable of transferring 25 tons. At number 2, the EFP machine. This impressive machine from Electro Impact reminds me a bit of the Portal game, but it's highly accurate and scalable. It's known as Automated Fiber Replacement Technology, and it sets bonds of narrow carbon fibers onto very complex forms. It basically moves like a very large CNC machine, with three linear motors and a tracking capability of 500 feet per minute. It's also really accurate with a depth range from a quarter to half an inch. Now they can handle projects up into the hundreds of feet, so they are some of the biggest industrial machines in the world. It's also pretty amazing just watching these things actually work, so make sure to check out that link in my video description.
adds number one, the Erzon Hydraulic Press Forge. Press forging exerts enormous amounts of pressure on a piece of metal by squeezing it into a mold. This method creates really strong components and it even supersedes welding pieces together. Now this forge is pretty large in comparison with other ones and it allows China to produce very large components of enormous strength. Not too much has been revealed about its true purpose, but it's probably going to be used for building landing gear and aircraft, or maybe something more secretive. Designed around Soviet technology from the 80s, it should be no surprise that a bigger forge was actually built. But whether or not it will actually pay for itself, well, that's another question. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.